And new tonight, eight people are dead and multiple investigations have begun after a musical concert in Houston ended in tragedy. I spoke with two local survivors who were caught among the crowd as they say they were just thankful to make it back home after they thought they wouldn't. It was the night meant for fun. I have been to past uh, Astroworld uh, festivals before and um, Usually the energy is, you know, very, you know, excitement and a lot of um, energy. But that excitedness quickly turned into panic in a matter of seconds at the Astro World Music Festival. At the first 30 seconds of Travis Scott performing, people were compressing, people were trying to move forward, and there was not enough space for people to be moving forward. When it was just like it was just like a square space. In that moment, 19-year-old Caitlin Gonzalez and her boyfriend Daniel Diaz desperately trying to escape the crowd. I had to literally carry my girlfriend over people mm -hmm. and reach the barrier. And, at, and even then, it was even difficult to get over that. Making it over the barrier with scars, but witnessing mayhem on their way out. I look to my left and I see a helpless man's body on the floor, like lifeless. He was not responsive. He wasn't responding to any of the medics. Eight fans were killed in the stampede and multiple people seriously injured. We're committed to work with our partners, the police department and everybody else involved in ensuring that this is a, a complete and full investigation. The headline performer Travis Scott taking to Twitter to say, quote, I am committed to working together with the Houston community to heal and support the families in need. But Diaz says that wasn't enough. He did point out some people, you know, climbing the trees just to see a show. So he had a very good view of what was going on. And for him to not acknowledge the the, the, the bodies on the floor. Yes. Hoping this can be a moment for future change when it comes to concerts. And the artists themselves should start promoting better influencing, you know, kids to not be so energetic in a way of hurting or, you know, harming any other human being because that was definitely going on in that type of environment. Both of them say the pain of that night will never be truly forgotten. Now they also say that they are praying for the victims' families and hope change comes from this tragic event.